Hey guys, this is D Flash, and we're back with another video. This week we're going to take a look at Machine and how to build your own multi effects rack. So, if you've purchased the Transistor Punch or the Dark Pressure packs, you'll see that they come with some multi effects. Um, also, if you look at some of the demos, uh, the demo songs, they have some multi effects in them also but what we can do is take a look at how to build our own so first we're going to I just wanted to show you what a multi effects rack is um, this one came with transistor punch and it's just a it has one sound on it and it has three different effects and then you can route your sounds to it by either putting it as an aux channel or you could just send your whole audio to it we'll change that back to group and let's make sure this comes out what do we do here Okay, so what I'm going to do is reset this and I'll show you how to build your own. Alright, so we start out with an input and then we can put whatever effect we want. Uh, maybe for this one we'll put an reflex and you can set your parameters however you want this sound and we'll start routing audio to it and we'll put the baseline on there so to route out audio to it you can either go to your group or just your sound and go to the output settings and then you can change either the main which will take all the audio that's coming out of that sound and send it over to that effect or you can put on your aux which will not remove the main signal but send that signal also to your effects. So for the baseline we're going to do that and so right now you can hear it. Okay. So you could hear it going through the reflex. We're going to turn that all the way up on the dry wet. Now what we can do is add something else to it to make it a little more interesting. So we will add a resocord. Put the dry wet. Yeah, we'll leave it at the default. Now what we what we can do also with these is we can add some automation data so for the reso cord maybe we'll raise the brightness as it goes and you can have multiple patterns with all different automation data which allows you to uh, change the sound throughout the track. So what we could also add is maybe a beat delay on the end. Put it around here. Bring the feedback up. Turn the crossover up. So we're going to name this 
this in. Okay. And now what we can do is we can actually add more. So we've run out of tabs here. But we can add more by just creating some more effects on the next tab. And maybe we'll put distortion on here. And we'll bring the drive all the way down. Turn the mix all the way up. And what we can do is take the sound and its output and change it from group down to distortion. So now everything is going to go into reflex. Well, it's going to go, comes from the input, go into reflex, then resocord, then beat delay. And then after that, it's going to go into the distortion. And if you look at the output, then it's going to go to the group. And if you look at the output for that, you'll see it's going to the master. So we'll start playing with this. And let's make a longer pattern. We're going to raise it up to four. And so you keep just adding more and more different effects to make it a different sound and just keep routing them into a chain. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to the multi effects. Um, one other thing you could do is route a whole group. So you have your group and your output. Say maybe we put a filter. Just name it drums filtered and then we'll put our filter on there and we'll take this change it from because we're on the group it was originally going to the master we're going to change it over to drums filtered okay actually we'll just leave that at zero Okay, so here's our filter. We're going to turn it all the way up for right now. And that's pretty much creating multi-effects and sending audio from one sound over to another sound. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up on whatever new videos I'm posting. Thanks for checking out the video.